Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Uh, today I'm proud to present you a new series, uh, a new course we are releasing on uh, Max Cookie. And this time we'll create a really nice scene to create a custom uh, setup to create ground impact uh, in 3ds Max. And we'll obtain something like this final result. So you see we have uh, some dust, dust and smoke created by the impact of something over the ground. And this one is created using film effects. Uh, the rendering is really simple, it's done using uh, the scan line rendering. Uh, the setup is done using a, a particle flow. And we can see something there to understand how it works. You see that we have something flying there. Uh, it is simulating an airplane that is uh, leaving uh, on the ground some bomb and when the bomb reach the ground we have the explosion okay uh, the particle setup is then partially using a uh, mass effects particles or m particles depending on the 3ds max version you are using and you see that when we hit the ground with a collision then we create a, a nice, uh, simple particle system with a spawning effects to create the various uh, trails moving uh, up and moving all around there. Uh, we'll use film effects to simulate the ground impact. And you see that we use the particles, but we'll have to solve some problems related to the uh, simulation because, you know, if we pass the uh, particle data to film effects. We'll have smoke for the flying bomb too, but we don't like to have something like that. So we'll see how to use some tricks using a standard tool in 3ds Max to avoid the uh, uh, usage of some particles. And then we'll see also how to avoid problem related to this trick and the usage of this uh, simple technique. Uh, you see that uh, the simulation there is done using a nice setup to obtain a good scaling quality and uh, we can see also the preview and you see that's the result of the simulation so we'll see how to optimize the quality and the resolution of our uh, setup rendering will be done using scanline and we'll use a nice uh, and simple setup with lighting and we'll use also the scattering to simulate uh, a good-looking daylight through the volume. So, uh, if you like this tutorial, this course is a two parts with two lessons, so it is not so long. Uh, you can go on Max Cookie website, but you have to be a citizen to follow it. So, hope you like it, and uh, I like to. See you again really soon for new release from cgcookie.com. Bye.